Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I'm just sitting outside, and I thought I would talk to you about, um, you know, putting together a travel sketchbook kit. So I'm going to be using watercolors with my sketchbook, so um, I just wanted to get it all set up. I bought this paint palette about two years ago at Desaires in um, Halifax, and I just started using it a couple days ago. I really like it. I believe this one's called the Field Kit, um, and it has a little paintbrush with it. I don't know what the size is, but it's, you know, it's a fairly good size. But what I actually prefer to use are my water water brushes. And these are great. I've had this one for quite a few years, and this one I just purchased the other day. But um, you just fill this part with water, and you just squeeze, and it comes out um, the end of your brush. This one has just a thinner... Um, tip to it, but I really enjoy those um, much better than a than a paintbrush and having to constantly dip into the water. So the thing with this kit though, um, these aren't all the original colors that came with it. They do list it online of what colors it comes with, but I wanted a black. So I went to town the other day and they had the little paint pots on sale for 60% off. So I bought all the ones that they had, but I needed a place to store the extra ones. And when I got home, I put um, a little paint swatch thing together just on an artist trading card and I put it in one of the little plastic um, holders for it. So I listed all the colors and then for the ones that I have in this actual palette I put a tiny little dot next to them just so I knew um, which colors I had in there. So I needed some something to hold um, the other colors and um, I had some little pill cases around the house. This fits the actual paint but it doesn't if I took it out of the paint pot it would fit but I like it in there and it has the name of the color on there but there was no way it was gonna fit so then I actually had these ones and it does fit it but this just seemed you know too bulky and too separate and trying to get your paintbrush in there it was a little cumbersome so um, then I always see people online with the um, Altoids tins, and I have this one from Disney with the, the Disney mints. And so I had them in here, but I figured I'd have to like, you know, glue them down or something. So I kept looking around the house and I ended up finding this. It's just a travel band-aid thing that I usually have um, when we go to the beach. And there we go. It holds 10 of these perfectly. I mean, they do, if you push on one, the other one pops up a little bit, but I mean, it's pretty pretty darn close. So I am going to, I just wanted to show it to you first before I took the stickers off just so you knew what it was. Um, I'm going to peel the stickers off and I'm going to trim the edge of this because that's just, you know, I mean that's for hanging in the store but I don't need that so I'm just going to trim the edge of it just so it's not so bulky. Um, but these are just the extra colors that I have and like I said I put dots next to the ones that I keep in this thing but if I do want um, you know, Viridian Green, I know it's in this in this case. So that's my paints, and I have the little artist trading card, so that's that. And then this sketchbook, I purchased this, oh gosh, in 2006, I bought two of them. I think they were like $8.99 or something, just a nice leather um, sketchbook. My other one is about three quarters full, but it's just all random sketches, so I wanted one specifically that I left um, for watercolor paints. This is my home right here. It's a little pink cottage that I live um, here in Bermuda and um, so I just did a couple sketches out on the deck the other day just to play around with it and that's all I have so far like I said I just started um, the other day but I do want to go around the island and do some painting while we live here because I'm gonna kick my butt someday when I realize after we've left how beautiful it was and I didn't take the time to capture any of it um, and then as for my uh, markers and things I bought these the other day they're the little micron uh, markers I bought one three and five I have some Faber-Castell um, pit artist pens and I just brought the the small and the medium I have the fine and the brush but I don't like those as much so I just figured I would put those in um, someone mentioned on YouTube the other day to not use a pencil and an eraser because it just almost hinders your drawing in a way. Um, that's what they felt. Um, but I just, I can't leave home without a pencil and an eraser. So I figured I would throw one in and a little pencil sharpener. Um, and then I took another artist trading card and on the back I have my information, you know, if lost, please return to. 
So I was trying to figure out how to, you know, carry this stuff around. I could carry the book loose and I have these pencil cases. I have this little Winnie the Pooh one that I do have some of my pencils in. These are the pencils that I use. Um, the Derwent graphic. I think that's how you say it. So I have those that I'll sometimes just throw in my purse with a little Moleskine book. And then I had this one, um, which would hold, uh, I have pencils and things in there. There's my other pit markers. Um, and I have, you know, markers and stuff and it would fit my paint palette and everything, but it doesn't fit my book. So I wanted everything, you know, pretty contained. So I had this little, um, case there's a little handle on it, a zipper in the front, and I think it's to hold like a small Bible or small book of some kind. And I had it years ago for holding like a cross stitch pattern, and I had all my cross stitch floss in there, but it kept slipping out, and I knew the same thing was going to happen with all my pens, so that was going to drive me crazy. So then I remembered I had bought this years ago. This is, I don't know, it's Gloria Vanderbilt. I don't even know. I exactly what it's for. I think maybe you put makeup in it and your brushes. I have no idea um, what the use is actually supposed to be. Um, but uh, it has this nice pouch in the back where I can fit my book. And that goes right in there. My water brushes can fit right there. I could put things in the slots but it just makes it a little bit bulky. Um, so in the middle I'm going to keep my palette and my colors and then I'm going to remove the stickers and trim that but I'll just put it in here for now just to show you so that fits in there. And then over in this section I have my eraser, my contact information, my pencil and then I have my markers and my pencil sharpener. And those all fit in here, in the little pocket, like that. Snap it closed, so everything's all contained, all in the one spot, just zippers closed. And there you go, you're ready to go sketch on the go. So, um, so make up a travel, uh, travel sketch kit. It's, um, it's a neat idea, especially with summer quickly approaching. Um, just something nice to have with you. And you can just take it in a carry-on, throw it in a purse, and off you go. All right, so take care. I'll talk to you later. See ya.